Well, I'm back with, I think this is update 47. I've started to do some, um, some uh, what I call it, filters. And so that's okay. And it's all drying slowly. And um, I'm getting bits and pieces done. I've done filters over these, the bits then on there you can see. Uh, well, you can't see, but, but anyway, but this gradually getting going. I'm gonna do some dirt inside. I think I can turn this round all the way now uh, because I've got and I've got raised up so I can actually do the sides. I've done the bogies, which you'll see later, and then I've got to do the actual hole down and do some um, sort of dust coming down because this was D Day, so it's basically moving into into towards um, out of the, uh, the beaches, I suppose, and go. So I'm I'm not going to have it really filthy because uh, I'm not a great filthy modeler, but uh, it is that was good, doesn't it? But um, yeah, so I'm actually cl clearing up some of the the little stains that look a bit too odd and it does do that and then I will be spraying dust around I've done around under the front I don't know I don't want to hold it up because I still don't want to drop it but I've got some dust and dirt all around here which is the um, dust and dirt uh, this one it's doing really nice. I'm going to use oils as well later, but I've started to let it dry now because I want to I'll see what I've got. And uh, I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, there's different tones I can see now on here, around this areas where I've done on the hatches and these bits and pieces. And uh, hopefully that will show up at some point. But yeah, it's really, I'm quite pleased with it now. I mean, even my tool clamps are not so bad now. I've now I've done a few filters around them and bits. They just uh, don't look too bad. I might be able to do some sort of tilt forward. And there they are. And and I've sorted that the, the, um, this is now uh, HD. The last two videos went out and I was like, why is it so blurry? And that's what it was. So the sheen you can see is actually obviously to do with what I'm doing. So I can't do anything about that. But when I look at the angles, I've got really nice different tones coming across there. So that's quite nice. And and I'm tempted to do a bit more, but you know what I say, too much. Which when you get to a point where it's too much, I mean on here, I've just done some on here. And uh, basically that's gonna be looking out. I'm tempted to do gray on this. I've got, I've got some chipping to do as well. So I can actually do this color tone and do a bit of chipping, chipping afterwards around the sides. And it will be just a, a lighter color of this green. I don't think I need to do it for them because I've seen a lot of um, vehicles where they really are uh, chipped and rust patches. And, and someone said, and I think they said, when you look at vehicles, even in photographs, they, they, the, the actual colours don't look as if they've got back to the primer. So, but I've got to do inside next. I'll be doing that. I'll do that on film, but uh, I've, I've, because of what I'm doing, uh, you know, the way it is, I'll, I'll pull that out a little bit further. I'm actually trying not to go too far, and I've pulled the tank forward so I could get underneath the front. I may spray underneath the vehicle, but to be honest, this is my model. It's not going to go into a show. So do I really care about underneath? Um, do I want to waste all the products underneath? No. So I'm just going to do the top. And if I did go into a uh, competition, I would do that. So pretty pleased with this so far. So I'm just going around with a bit of this wash now. This is um, 10 for yellow, yellow green vehicles. Well, this isn't yellow green, but it's actually giving it a bit of a bit of a bit of a, a look to it isn't it and that's the main thing and it's, it's quite a big model as well so it's all good to do in places so I just do this I'll just show you now I'm going to put some uh, where where should I put it that's a point <laughs> oh yeah I was going to put a bit on the back here where it goes and that'll, that'll come up nice I don't come remember doing that one I think I did but I'll do it anyway so you can see what I'm doing and you could actually do a whole panel. Um, I could actually do um, a whole panel here and make it look different. I, I don't want to go too far with it. So I'm just going to put a bit more on there, 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 a bit, more, a bit across there on that one. I've already done that one, as you can see. And it's seated down quite nice. And put a bit more there. Yeah, so I am moving on. And I'm going to be... A, Put a bit more dust and bits around the, the, where where people go. I think uh, the front's looking reasonable now. It's going to get a, a flat wash at the end anyway, so it will bring it all down to uh, flatness. You won't see no shine so much in it. But yeah, co so doing. Think, think I'm going. <coughs> excuse me. Think I'm going all right. Um, and uh, 
getting towards the end of the build. Uh, my turret's in the other room. It's on the bedroom inside that case because I've got that so it can keep the dust off while I'm doing it. Not as much dust there anyway. But um, yeah, so we're doing all right. I'm going to, that's what I was going to do. I was going to make these pop a little bit. The hinges. There you go. Could do a bit behind the handles just if it gets a tonal difference. And that's it. So if I come down, I'll show you what I mean if you come down a little bit. Uh, that's it, I can nearly forget. And I think I'm getting a bit more sharp, but uh, oh no, I've got it on uh, AF. I intelligent all the focus I've got it on because basically that's what I was looking at before. So there you go. Whoops, wrong way. And you go, so I've got granny edges and everything, and uh, good. And I will get the camera, Another, I've got the other camera, I can actually put it on tripod and we can do a side view as well. I'll just have to get a bit more lighting around the side. Um, yeah, so, yeah. So another thing of getting rid of those brush marks is basically to do this. With a, with a sponge, and I found that worked the other day. And it does take the brush marks away a little bit. But um, once it's got it all done, that'd be okay. Right then, so I'll call that at the end of the first segment now. I'm going to carry on doing a bit of this later once I let this dry to see what I've got. And uh, and uh, if I have to do anything else, I will on the top. But uh, yeah, keep saying yeah, don't I? So I'm going to come back out again. Oh, I'll go back in again. Uh, Mitara gets some of the same treatment as well. There you go. Oh, I think you can actually see a better thing on that way. So if I just turn it like that. Right then. So I'm going to keep calling scripts on this actual segment. So catch you on the next one. Next segment that is. You'll see it in seconds. I see it in about an hour most probably. Right, we're back and uh, I've been doing a bit of uh, detail painting and, and bits around on the, on the handles, which you can't see because I've just zoomed in, so I can just see what I'm doing here. And I've got uh, this colour, which is, I think I mentioned it, US Dark Green. And there it is. I'm using that to, uh, to give a little light scratches on the side without actually going through to the metal, which I thought would be a good idea because this, this was uh, used in D-Day and I think that's when it was manufactured and basically going. So I'm going to be deducing Ah, oh, right. So what I should do is bring, bring it a bit more over there. Make sure I don't turn it. But I'm just running along here very, very lightly and doing a few bits and pieces. You can see that, then it dries back a bit because it's wet. I'll just do a little few scratches here and there. And uh, to the back, oh, you can't feel that. I'll zoom out again. I'll go out a bit so you can see a bit more. But I'm, I'm going to be doing a bit of weathering on them and all a bit, bit more dirt on the top. There you go, if I come right into there. So it goes, it goes. So I'm just going to come to the back. I've already done a little bit around this box. I, you can think you can see it there. And a little bit around this side. Not too much. I've done a bit on the tool, as you can see all along there. I've uh, done that. So I'm going to come round and do a little bit in the corner and I'll just get a bit of corner rub. It's the paint. That... Oops. And basically, I'm going to bring it back this way because I can actually twist it around a little bit. There you go. And now you can see what I'm going to do it and I'm going to just, I can twist it. I'm not, I can't go right round at the moment, but at least I can do it like this and come in. At this angle, I'll come on the corner and just do a few little scratches. Not major. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm going to put a bit along there. A little bit round there. I'm going to go a lot of the corner. Just a little bit there on there, a little bit down the front, 
front there you can see just a little bit start in the corner very lightly a little bit down the bottom and that's it I think you can see that but, but it's going to be well and truly blended in but it's going to look quite reasonable I think I've done the handles on here all the way around I've done bits on the fuel tanks here and I, I can zoom into that I think and that might that might show you a bit more but uh, doing it on camera is just, it, uh, here we go I think you can see a little bit on there. I can see it perfectly in myself. It's very subtle. That's the only difference. So, and I'm going to be do a bit around here, but that's still going to be under the turret. And I'm gonna, I've done a bit around these. The hatches do come up, like I said. So if I bring that into that, and oops, let's go back out again. I'll put the other one up as well. You can see the hatches now. I'll come out a bit. I've changed my background colour to lighter. I don't know if it makes any difference, but I can change it all back if I have to. So I'm going to put this bit more to the centre where it was earlier on, to, to there. And uh, right, so you can see the hatches there. Really pleased with that, and you can see the radio in, and so with the hatches open, you can actually see the details. I think you can see there. I think if I tilt it slightly, there we go. Got to go carefully. Where we're going to hold it? Um, yeah, I'll do it like this. See the radio there, with all the details still there, and I really like it. And I've, got, I've still got to go inside. I have actually done. Oh, I don't want to do this, but. You can see some of the weathering on the actual axles down below. I'm not going silly with it. I'm not going to do that. But I've got to start doing some streaking now. The turret's been been weathered quite well, so so I want to bring that down to the same level on the top here. But um, I quite like the the sheen on there. I might take a bit more uh, oils later on. But I'm doing a bit over the all the um, where's where that where's that gone? Oh, it's, <laughs> sorry, it's over there. So I've got my colour here. And what I've been doing is just touching up little bits where, you know, you think it could get um, a bit of scratched when they're doing engines. Just doing a bit of a touch. A shaky hand actually actually helps it a bit. It drives back light different than what it is. Yeah, that don't look too clever. But when I when I look at it in a minute, that's going to look quite nice. Whoops! Can I go? Oh, I can go right around now, which I like to do when I'm doing this. And you get a bit of shine off some of the because of the varnish, the satin on. You get a bit of a shine off it. So do a little bit on. I've done a bit on this this as well, and I might do a wash inside the inside there to give it a bit of a different tone. And um, it's got a dark tone, which is a better tone. It looks clean in there, but. Uh, can do that do a wash I don't want to get it on me me um, the actual um, periscopes because I'm really pleased with those they turned out quite nicely now they they're meant to be green evidently but I'm gonna leave them black uh, I quite like the fact it, it gives them a tonal difference so yeah and if you look at the tools that's got a bit of a wear on it as well I've done that where it's worn where they backs about a bit so that's okay I could actually put a bit of a scratch on that That's it, but uh, yeah, right. So, gonna go back to carrying on doing it, and uh, and but I will show you when I start doing one side because I can push it right to the back and get stuck on so you can see it at easier and try and tilt it up slightly. Uh, I've got the actual camera 
directly over the top now, start looking straight down, and, the, and I think that's much better for building building as well. Um, obviously not so quite good here, but I've got another, me, when my other microphone goes, I should have to speak on uh, the other one over here, doing it in, in from a different angle. Anyway, well, I'm gonna call that quits for this, because um, this time is quite late in the evening, and I just thought I'd come up and do a little bit. I mean, oh, that's the point. I'm gonna do that on here anyway. I can actually do a bit in this just to here. where people get in and out. Too much there, I think, thankfully, because it's... There you go. I'll get it back with that with a bit of a colour. But yeah, I like the... Um, Edges mainly me being done if I can get it. And over there, a little bit of an edging. A bit of edging on there. Change your hands. There you go. Looks a bit deep. I can actually get rid of that with water. Because I don't like the fact it's gone too much on my blob. Take some of the water off and then go in there before it's really dry. There you go, and I've left it. So the, it's on the edge, but not there. So that's okay. The rest of it doesn't look too bad. Looks convincing, it's not the same, so that's the main thing. Right then, you've also noticed I've done it a little bit on the bolts. On the turret you would have seen it, because uh, I shall show you that again. But uh, yeah, cooking pigs, we're getting near the end. I've, I've got me wheels weathered a bit as well. This is the idle wheels at the back. You can see I've got both of them done. And uh, so they're both done. Like I said, I'm not going to heavy wear this. I've got basically it's all the details, but, but I'm going to do it a bit more tomorrow on it. And Thursday I can't do it. We've got a fence piece person coming, so here be they'll be out there doing the fences. So I'm going to want to be ready on hand to go out there if I'm needed. So Thursday I might get a little bit done in the evening. I'm hoping to get this completed before Sunday. And that's the, that the idea, so I can actually say it's done. But, but it's had me weathering now, but doing a bit of um, weathering. So I've got. Uh, I'll switch off and I'll come back and I'll show you the turret on it a little bit. And I want to put the shells into that later. Here we go. Well, there she is, and I might be able to see I've weathered inside the bins there. I've done this, the same bits around here, and I think I showed it in the previous segment, but you can see it is not on there. I've got to do the weathering inside. Uh, I've got some uh, bits of uh, weathering to do in there, and you can see how you can't actually, uh, you, you can't get uh, the ashes open, but when it goes to the top, it goes to the rear, because of the duck bills on the back, or the, the actual overhangs, the counterbalance weights, you can see it's done. So what I can show you now is the, the turret, a little bit more. You see I've weathered in there. See all the dust and dust bits in the corners. And uh, I'm not gonna put in there's a bit of weathering on the side of the turret you can see. So I wanna be doing that all the way around the other, the other bits. So and I've done a bit of lightning go across here. That's shiny because basically, even if you if I, I put it to, I'm going to be varnishing, matte varnishing over the top to, to sort of tone it down, get rid of the shine. Whoops, get, get rid of the shine. So there you go. So pleased with that. And uh, there's the two wheels. I'll put that there. But anyway, I'll, I'll, the spare wheels. 
but uh, they're not spinning around, idlers. Right, anyway, so I'm gonna call that quits now for until tomorrow and I'll do a bit more and I'll see how long this video is and if it, and to see if it's gonna be the end of it. And of course, I always put it up, end of the video on the last segment anyway. So, right, thank you very much for watching anyway. So, uh, see you in the next segment or the next update. Hi, there, well, this is a short, short update and uh, uh, it might be part of a segment I've already recorded, I'm not sure. But anyway, if not, it'd be a standalone, but it doesn't matter. Now you can see I've weathered inside, <coughs> inside there with the uh, light dust and it gives it a good dirty look, look inside. And, uh, but what I'm gonna be talking about basically on this situation is the tracks. Now I've got the tracks on and I might be able to lift it up and show you. There you go, you can see they're on. Now, I'm gonna tell you now, to do the same as Andy's hobby shop did for the tracks, is I, when I broke the tracks uh, to get them so I could slide them through, I managed to get them through easy enough. But the point is, trying to get the track, their track pads with the duck bills on the, the actual, um, the side, bit, uh, what if I say, these bits, on, basically, I had to break four off on each side to be able to get the pads to join. And there was a really, it took me about an hour and a half. And um, I've still got to try and put the two duck bills on the inner parts of the tracks, which I'm going to find hard. At the moment, I've hidden them up the top, and you, so you can't see them because they're underneath. So what I'm going to say to you is when you do the do some weathering, uh, basic weathering underneath, so you've got it sorted, and then basically put the tracks on, and then put this on when you're happy the tracks are okay. And that's the way to do it. So don't do it the way Andy's Hobby Shop does it. Uh, if I do an M10 version of this, which I don't see how, why I would do, because I'm basically it's the same vehicle but with a British gun on it, with the Hercules. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Now I've got, I've got my gun done. I think I've shown that before. That's already been done. And uh, oh, what else was there? The turrets uh, been withered. A, a bit more and I think you are you're going to see that in a p bit of previous segment um, and but I'm going to start to weather around the sides now on this now and coming down I've, I've, I'm quite happy with underneath anyway it's I said it was never going to be a green completely dirty but I'm going to put some weathering around the sides and a bit more things but I've actually done but the shine is still on there because I haven't matted it yet and I will do that once I've um, done done the bit of weathering, a little bit so it mats it and it brings it down. And then I'll go around and do a little bit of tweaking. So, and I've got to put the glass lights in as well. So this is really about the tracks, because I, I, I've, had, I've had about three days off not being able to do much on this, because I've had a fence put outside my house, and because you've got to be available to, to talk to them every now and then, so I had to stay downstairs. And I have been cleaning up tracks on, a, on my next big 16th field. Um, uh, which you'll see later, but I've been cleaning up the tracks and uh, and cleaning them up so they're ready to just put together. And then I noticed there was two sinkholes in every single track where you see it. So uh, when before I when I get back on to start there, I've got to actually fill those bits. But I'm gonna go, I'm back on this now for today. Uh, tomorrow I'm doing my Sunday build, like I said, and, and that's still gone place. But they're in, and this should be finished uh, by midweek next week. I'm sure it will. So I will be coming to the bench later on to do my weathering and I will film a bit of that, so that's okay. But um, yeah, so really I've undone, undone the ashes so you can see, you can see down in there. Uh, if you look in, you see that went, I can see straight down here, straight into the, in, in the, in the compartment and it looks quite nice. So quite pleased with that. Right then, so that's that for this update for completing. I'm gonna see if I've got a thing, I've, if I've got another bit with it, I'll put it on first and then this will come on afterwards. But yeah, the tracks go on, they look really nice. I mean, I could get away with not putting the two gold hills on the insides of both sides, because you can't see it, the outside is perfect. But uh, I'm gonna try and do them, but there's not much room to do it, so. Andy's Hobby Shop's way is the best way to do it with the M10. Because of that, this overhang, that's what the problem is. On a normal Sherman, this wouldn't have been an issue. Uh, like the M the, um, the big Sherman I've got from Andy's Hobby Shop. Basics, wouldn't be an issue at all. So there you go. Anyway, so I thought I'd better let you know that. So anyone who's building this, please don't do what I did. Just go straight in and put the do your weathering underneath, put the tracks on so they're already sort of sorted. I'm gonna be giving them a dust over there with the airbrush anyway, to make them a bit of a dusty effect. Um, and that's what's to do. So don't make the same mistake as I did. I thought it was gonna be easy and it wasn't. So even, even if you um, have the tracks complete, 
you can't roll them through so easy because I, I stood it up and rolled the track through so it's okay for everything apart from putting that last link in because the actual this side of it this there overhangs the inside and it and it basically prevents you putting the top joining the plates together so there you go other than that really pleased with it so far but uh We'll call it quits now and um, happy modeling everyone. Stay safe and remember, follow Andy's Obby Shop version of doing it. Put the tracks on, on the M10s anyway. Thank you very much and happy modeling.